In this video, you are going to learn how to implement the Mocha Awesome Report in order to have this kind of detailed explanation of your its. As you can see, here I have uh, three its were pa the, that passed correctly, but there was only one with an error. And if I inspect this one inside of here, you can see that it, uh, well, it displays the assertion error, but also the uh, failed screenshot where um, we can see the failure and also we have the well the past scenarios where everything was working fine so if you want to learn how to do this with cypress io and the cypress mocha reporter please just watch this video until the end to subscribe and let a like so we can well start with this video let's go ahead and do it Okay guys, before we can start working with Cypress Mocha Awesome Reporter, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be using a, a two different spec files. They both do basically the same stuff, right? Um, however, the approach is different. In this homesauce.spec.js, we have implemented the page object model, right, with four different its. But in the another spec, we have done the same stuff, right, but we are using a data driven approach in order to uh, well, um, test this application and try to avoid the duplication of code. Um, if you want to learn more about this, probably you're going to leave a, a comment where you can learn the both scenarios in, in well, with more detail because I don't want to bother you and um, well, make you spend a lot of time with this. The idea is to integrate the reports and now um, take a look of the uh, syntax right but i just wanted to let you know that in this case we in in my scenarios i'm actually testing this signing or logging uh, feature right we have different scenarios covered for example if i enter with the standard user and uh with a well um an expected password we're gonna be locked in in this inventory website where i'm gonna validate if this uh, span has the word products over here right so that's one assertion that i do the another scenario is when i enter a locked out user and i also enter a valid password right that scenario is gonna retrieve this error message which which is this username has been locked out also we have the scenario where i enter a valid username but an incorrect password and you are gonna have this as a message username and password do not match any user in this service and also if i do the the well the another scenario right where i enter any valid username we're gonna have basically the same message in this case as you can see in my code i'm gonna be changing um the first scenario uh, where i am actually and um, for of course i'm gonna be receiving the products in the title i'm gonna be um well making this assertion to fail um intentionally right i'm gonna be expecting to have test and of course it is gonna fail so if I come here to my um, terminal and I execute this um, again, let me just clear this and execute the Cypress run Chrome. Uh, basically, this uh, this command is gonna be executing the uh, the the, the pom uh, folder that I had there, right? And you're gonna take a look of this first spec. It is gonna fail, of course, because it is not gonna have the test word in the products. A selector right so i have a um, intentionally did that did that in order to have an assertion error now the second scenario well everything is going to be working fine and we are not not going to have any kind of uh, error message right and as you can see here i don't have any report already um, integrated but now i'm going to be working on that okay if I come here to the official documentation of Cypress Mocha Awesome Reporter, well, we're gonna have a detailed explanation of what to do. I'm gonna come here and install my Cypress Mocha Awesome Reporter uh, dependency, okay? So I'm gonna come here to my terminal and I'm gonna execute the command mpni save dev and the uh, dependency name. In this case is Cypress Mocha Awesome Reporter. As soon as I done, uh, I do this. You are gonna take a look of the package.json file, and probably, um, well, when this is installed, let me just wait for a few seconds. You are gonna have a new dev dependency at the bottom of your package.json file. 
right? That's the basic pr procedure in order to uh, to actually integrate a dev dependency, as you may know, right? But the next step is pretty important. We're gonna come here to the Cypress JSON file, right over here, and I'm gonna be uh, adding different keys and values. For example, I have to add the reporter name over here. I just have to copy and paste that, and also I have to add another um, thing over here. Let me just check that. <laughs> It is this one over here, the custom options. I have to uh, copy this and then, well, basically uh, bring this to the uh, JSON file. I'm gonna format this document. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look of what is happening here. Uh -huh. um, just add the flag, reporter options. Okay, and the name of this flag is reporter um, options, right? If I'm not wrong. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Let me just check this and I'm not sure why it is happening. This is what is happening. This kind of error. Uh, oh, I see. I, I did something wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to do this. Hmm. Let me see. This over here, right? Okay, see, I'm doing something wrong. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I just have to copy this. Let me just revert what I, I have done before. Okay, perfect. So as I told you before, I have to enter the reporter name, right? But also we have to uh, copy the, um, the reporter option flag over here. I'm sorry. There it is. I'm doing this fine now. <laughs> and as you can see, I am specifying the reporting, the report direction or that report path at Cypress slash report. That's the path where my reports are going to be saved. Now we can, um, we can specify if we want to include charts or not. Okay. And also I can uh, specify the report page title. Okay. So I want to name this, for example, join media report demo report okay perfect now that i have done this i also want to let you know something else if you in case you want to have embedded screenshots uh, if, for example uh, if some tests fail and you want to have a screenshot of that you just have to add this key and also the value of true okay let me just do that and true that's it and now i have a uh, well uh, have I have done the first part of this configuration. Now that I have my dependency installed and also configured my cypress.json file, okay, well, the next step uh, over here is to, um, well, add the this import in the support index.js file, okay? So I'm gonna come here to my support folder and look for the index.js file, and then we'll import that particular um well library and dependency okay that's good and then we have to look for the cypress plugins folder and lo also look for the index.js file and just copy this module export okay so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna look for the plugins index.js and i'm gonna copy and paste this over here that's good right and once i have done this i think that i'm pretty set up i, I have set up my environment right i'm not sure if i'm missing something else i don't think so so i'm gonna make a test i'm gonna execute the same command that i did before which was a um, npm i'm oh, not sorry npm run cypress run chrome if we take a look of that particular command in the package.json file okay it is gonna be um well it is gonna contain this cypress run right it is gonna be executing the uh, browser chrome and we are actually pointing to the spec uh, Cypress integration pawn, which is this one over here, right? And we are executing every single spec.js file that I have inside of that folder. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna execute again that particular command. And now, if I'm not wrong, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken about something else, we should have an HTML report as I showed you at the beginning of this video with all the details that you want to know about it. So let me just do it. Okay, it is gonna be executing the tests. It is gonna fail, of course, right? Then we have different uh, scenarios that passed correctly, right? And uh, probably 
um, well, the another spec file is gonna pass every every uh, well without any kind of issue, right? And there it is. Now it is saying that um, we have an error, right, in the in the first uh, spec over here, but um, we have to check into the um, into the file that I have created, right? So I'm gonna come here to my to to the the place that I have my uh, framework, and I have to look inside of Cypress over here, right? And look inside of the report folder that it has created automatically. Why it is here? Cause I have ex uh, well specified that in the Cypress.json uh, file that I have created here, as you remember, right? I have specified the report direction there. So I'm gonna go to my to my folder, and as you can see, and if I inspect the index, you are gonna take a look of this, and I have the results that I want. This uh, report is gonna have a general overview of the full um, execution time that it has uh, uh, take, right? And also we have uh, seven different it's that passed correctly, but there was a, a failure over here. And if I inspect in the in this um, spec file, everything works fine. It actually uh, takes uh, or actually took three that uh, six seconds to execute the full regression over there. And also we have the another spec where we have the um, well we have the the uh, the results over here, right? As you can see, and uh, we have the assertion error over here. I'm not sure why <laughs> I'm not receiving the um, I'm not receiving the the screenshot, right? Let me just uh, take a look of this. I have activated the uh, embedded the screenshots, but I'm not sure if I should. Let me let me do a test over here, right? If I should um, enable the screenshots on failure um, Cypress command. So probably it is required. Let me just check and, and take a look if it is the reason of why I'm not getting the screenshot in my report. Okay, there it is. And let me see if now it is embedding the, the image. And there it is now, yeah. I think that I was not saving something in the index of the support and the plugins file and that was the reason. Also, I'm not pretty sure if we should actually enable this screenshot on failure true, which is a global parameter or actually a global configuration for Cypress in order to let him know that I want a, a screenshot every time something fails, right? So yeah, my, my, my recommendation would be to uh, well, make sure if it is necessary or not, depending on your needs, right? In case you want to add that particular configuration in your report. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, well, the video that I wanted to bring you. It is pretty simple, right? Um, in this case, I don't want, or actually I don't need a merge command and um well that's it i guess thank you very much for watching the whole video i hope that this uh, implementation help you in order to uh, um well have better uh, html reports in your project thank you very much please subscribe and let a like and see you in the next one bye bye